Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 550. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 539 to 550. Hey, in this video, we have a great video. Data validation. The last two videos, 548 and 549, we did straight data validation list, dynamic data validation list, and here we want to do data validation list based on another data validation list. So here's Boomerang Events, and here's my little schedule of boomerangs that I might use for each one. So I want to be able to select a drop down, pick Trick Catch, and then over in this have these options show up. So you ready? first thing is we have to name some ranges because if we're going to have a word pop up here like fast catch that actually we're going to have to have a range here that will look here but over in this cell we need to name this range right here fast catch so here we go I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut to name I have some with three and some with four so I'm going to highlight these first four just to the end there. You could highlight all of them and do it once and there just be some spaces at the end. And I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for uh, create name from selection, control shift F3. Now look what it's doing. It's saying, hey, I think they're in the top and the left. I'm going to uncheck top. I only have them in the left. And this means, this little thing means that name will be given to that range, that name given to that range, etc. Click OK. And now I do the rest. Control Shift F3. Forget the top row, just the left column. And I'm going to check it. Watch this. I'm going to go Aussie round, um, doubling, right? And so it's highlighting the right ones. Now let's do data validation just like we did in the last couple of videos. Alt DL, Tab, and then L, and then Tab. And I'm just going to highlight. This first range I can just highlight. If you want it dynamic or something like that, you'd watch this last uh, couple of videos right here. All right, now I'm going to click OK. Now I got doubling. I got a trick catch. So that's working just fine. I'll stick with accuracy. Now I'm going to come over here. And I somehow need to do data validation and say, hey, data validation, that word right there needs to be your range. Alt D L, tab. L tab to get to the next one and I'm just going to click right here. Accuracy. Boom, click OK. Oh, what's going on? It's picking that up. The reason why is because that is text. Alt D L text even though there is a name in memory called accuracy this um, source is seeing it as text. So we have to convert this text to a reference. And the way you do that, there's a function built in just for that called indirect. That's all indirect does. It takes text and converts it to a reference. Now, if this wasn't in a named range, it wouldn't work. But it is a named range, so it'll work. Click OK. All right, so now, whoa, isn't that cool? It's got the TriFly Rad German Sunset. I'm gonna, it's really windy, so I'm going to select my Rad German. Now I'm going to switch to doubling, right? Doubling, ah, it's, uh, the wind has died down, so I'm going to use my Carlotas. Uh, now I'm going to switch over to uh, Glorp, and I'm going to come over here. What? It's not working? Here's the deal. <laughs> There's a bunch of spaces there you are not allowed to have spaces when you name a range. But since we used a keyboard shortcut, it did something for us. Let's just go look. Look at that. It put underscores for every single uh, space. So we're going to have to do something tricky here because we want this to work no matter what, if there's something with spaces or not. Um, equals substitute. Oh, that, that's what we can use. Substitute in every single time this cell has a space, put an underscore. So I'm going to do substitute. Now the text is right there. Comma, what's the old text? Oh, it's got to be a space. And you got to put everything in double quotes, a so double quotes, space, double quotes. That's the old text. Comma, the new text is double quotes, underscore, double quotes. 
and then we we want them all so we close parentheses let's just see if this works you got to be kidding me is that totally cool so now then from around this we can put indirect and now if we uh, F9 this right here F9 evaluates we can see boom it got it even though there's a bunch of spaces there control Z copy enter and then I'm gonna come here alt DL and I'm gonna replace this control V escape let's try that again copy alt DL I thought it control V so we have indirect substitute, boom, it'll work every time. Because why? Because the ones that don't have spaces, nothing will be substituted in. Click OK. And so now there's our quad. Quad. Or if it's a 30 miles an hour wind uh, in Clorp, we'll use our Bellin Wind Dancer. I actually indented this cell a little bit right there to deal with the fact that there's always like one of these. So now if I go trick catch, boom, it's got the C Carlota quad and Bellin Dancer. I go back to accuracy without any spaces it's got all the right ones uh, oh this is for trick catch right I didn't select accuracy wouldn't be using a Carlota in accuracy there's a tri fly rad German uh, again it's all oh, the wind is up so I'm using my rad German all right uh, data validation so the last three videos 50 49 48 all about fun with data validation list drop down in a cell all right, see you next trip.